Hey guys, Mrs. P here. And Pinky and Lee and Smith and Harley. Mm. Harley's here to help us today. We are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Journey Girls kitchen. I don't think I've seen one of these yet. We usually see the Our Generation, we've seen the My Life As, and of course the American Girl version. Um, we recently found this one online and we were dying to check this one out. We like the colors a little bit better. It looks like it came with more stuff. So let's get this unboxed and we will show you what you think. Okay, so we got it unboxed. That actually took um, quite a bit of time. <laughs> it was in there pretty well. So make sure you have a screwdriver if you buy this set. It was literally screwed in in the bag. Kind of crazy. And you'll need scissors. Yes, you will need scissors. So it actually does come with quite a bit of stuff. Some things leave a little bit to um, be desired, but the rest of it is actually quite cute. So let's take you in closer to the kitchen itself here. So first we have the fridge. Now, if you notice, the colors are kind of a steel blue and a pink with touches of purple. It's actually quite cute. And you've got mostly gray for your appliances. So we have a water dispenser, water and ice dispenser here your double French doors open up here. This part you did have to put together. You had to add in the drawers and these. This one opens and closes. You have little shelves on the doors. You have two that open and close down on the bottom here for produce and vegetables. Nice shelving there. They snap closed. Sorry, this is really hard to do on carpet. The freezer. This is actually quite large, very spacious. You can put a lot of stuff in there. We'll show you when we start putting things away. Okay, Three. and over here we have an actual window. I love this part. You have an actual window. You can actually put your hands through it. And so you can put a little seam so it looks like they're in the kitchen. You actually could. We could put an outdoor seam in the back of the window, or if you have a window cut out in your dollhouse, be perfect. Um, so over here up top, we actually have a full set of cabinets, and these all open and close. Just really you have a good bit of space. Microwave opens and closes. Get nice little detail here. Two more cabinets here and two shelves. I like the little spindles down here. These They're are quite very cute. Um, if you can see down here, you have two little hooks that'll actually hold what I'll show you later, little hot pads. Um, we have a little shelf above, a little spice rack above the stove, side counter that goes up and down. We have the stove top, the oven that does open and close, and here's your little rack that comes in and out. That's nice. You have a good size drawer, again on the bottom, warming drawer. Let's move some of this food out of the way. We have our dishwasher underneath the sink. We have two racks that pull out. They hold quite a bit of stuff, actually. Very impressive. And we have the sink up here. Now the faucet moves side to side. This part does not. The sprayer does not. And we have two more shelves down here. Overall, it has a lot of storage. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, as for the food and accessories it comes with, they do have quite a bit. So let's get started on those accessories. So here we have a stand mixer. This is quite cute. I love the colors that come with this. We have our separate bowl that comes in and out. Um, unlike the American Girl one that's powered and turns and has separate attachments, this one is actually frozen in place, but still quite cute. Pinky, you want to put that on the pull-down counter? The pull-down counter over there. We also have a toaster. We do have two slices of bread. They come in and out. They do not, however, push down and pop up. Still, very cute. Really like the color. Size is good. Very sturdy. Pinky will set that in the kitchen. And we also have a little drying rack for washing your dishes. Lots of little things that came in here. You have a spoon, fork, and knife. So here's our little spoon, our fork, and our knife. We can take those. We have two pink plates. Those are Very nice. Pretty. All plastic. We have two drinking glasses. Two coffee, coffee and or teacups. Tea cup. Our 
pot holder, our hot pad, Oops. Your hook. and we have a little dish towel and or washcloth. Very cute. I love this. Okay, now on the subject of washing dishes, we have soap, little dish soap. Ah, there, now we're zooming. Very, very cute. And we have our little sponge. It's just a little piece of foam, but still quite cute. I like the detail on the cap, actually. That's, uh, ah. that's nice. Hard to see, it doesn't want to zoom. Yeah, okay. Here's the soap. Okay, now we also have this really cute, looks like it fell apart on us over here. So we have a cake stand, good size. And if Pinky wants to put the cake on there, it actually comes in four pieces. So you will be able to cut a slice off and put some on a plate and your dolls can enjoy said cake. It's quite cute. I like the color, the chocolate, of course. Chocolate there it cake. goes. So you can take off these little sections and you can have yourself some cake. Okay, so we'll we set, up this? set that up on top of the fridge for now. And we have, I think we've decided this is a loaf of bread because of the design on the top here and the color, it's hard to see, but you can take the lid off and put the slices of bread in it. So it's a little box, so maybe it's a bread box, maybe it's actually supposed to be a loaf of bread because it is also at an angle, so it goes up. It's very, I think this one's a little strange to me, but and we have that. We also have our nice pot. Ah, and I dropped the lid. Our pot for the stove for our cooking. Lid comes on and off. Nice deep pot. Running out of space. Okay. <coughs> we have, mm, I guess maybe a casserole dish. It's kind of deeper than I expected. It's a cake, it's a cake pan. It could be a cake pan casserole dish. Okay. There's that. The red hand. <laughs> yes, it could double as a red hand. Um, we also have our cookie sheet. Very cute. And our cutting board. Yeah, I think it's cutting board. There's those. This one was strange to us as well. So it's a cupcake tin, little heart shapes. However, the shapes that come in and out of it are, are clear. I think they're, I think they're lovey pop. Here. You take this. I'm going to see if I can get this to zoom in. It's not They're zooming crystals. very well. It's really weird. It, they do. They look kind of like little heart-shaped crystals. It's very strange. There it goes. Very weird. I'm not sure. I mean, I've never had a clear cupcake before. Maybe it's supposed to be candies? I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I think it's candies. We'll go with that. Um, it came with two little bowls. Um, they're actually heart-shaped. And yeah, they, had the food, like they had the food in them when we unpacked them. So, but they're, they're cute. It's like everything in this pack is heart-shaped, even cookies. Oh, yes, and we have cookies. We do have heart-shaped cookies. There are four of these. They look like little frosted sugar cookies. So there's four of those. We also have chocolate frosted cupcakes. There are four of these as well. I like the little stars on the top. Those are cute. Mark on that one. Here's the cupcakes. We have a sandwich, which is interesting. Um, not really pleased with the um, sticker um, condition of this one as well. Um, it's just kind of a, a sticker across here, and it's Bread. just a giant piece of plastic. Bread. So the sandwich is a little, it's a little odd. Leaves a little to be desired. Uh, we have bananas. Banana! That's nice. <laughs> We have carrots, yum. We have a stalk of broccoli, that's nice. Pinky's gonna load up the fridge while we do this. Should be able to get everything in there. We have a head of lettuce, that's nice. Now this is all plastic, that one will zoom in for you. I don't think it's going to, oh, come on. Well, we all know what lettuce looks like. Oh, there it goes. It does have good detail. But still, again, just plastic. Okay. It's 
It also comes with an apple. I'm sure you put those away. Sorry. Let's dig those back out. She's in a hurry to get this thing packed up to play with. So here's our little our apple. Okay. And we have an orange. There's the orange. The broccoli. Um, we have. Yep, they saw that one. We have little salt and pepper shakers. These are cute. A um, little confused as to why they're red when the rest of the, the setup is pink and blue, but um, they are kind of hard to see. It kind of looks pink in the camera there, but they are red. Um, they do have holes in the bottom. They are hollow. They don't come with sugar or salt or pepper in them, but still cute. Nice to have. Where should we put the salt and pepper? On the spice rack, maybe? Yeah, that works. It comes with two little jars, and the lids do come on and off. And those are nice. There's our two empty jars. Let's put them in the new thing. We have a jug of milk. It's got a little cow on there. And I like the little handle. The detail on this one's kind of nice. I do, I do like the, it's got the nutrition facts. That's adorable. Okay, here's our milk. We also have our jug of orange juice. More nutrition facts. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is uh, oh, yeah. quite cute. This is just cardboard paper and it is taped together. So that would have been nice if that was at least plastic. We'll come in a little bit closer so you can watch as she puts this stuff away. Um, we have ketchup. Ketchup. ketchup Got a little ketchup. tomato on there. <laughs> okay. And we also have, yeah, the ketchup bottle's making noise. We're not sure why it's rattling. It's kind of scary. If your ketchup bottle rattles, don't eat it. There's mustard on this one. That's cute. Um, on to the other food, we have a thing of ice cream. Neapolitan. Looks really good. Again, just a folded paper box. Um, a lot of this, the rest of this is folded paper boxes and they are empty. Um, so I think we will just reinforce these at least on one side with a glue stick. Oh, this one's got nutrition facts too. Nice. Um, oh, and a recipe. So we'll probably do a little glue stick magic here and uh, make it a little more sturdy. Freezer. And then we have two containers. These ones I'm not happy with. Um, two little containers of frozen fruit and veggies. The and they sides come out. Yes, the sides. And it has come out. nutrition facts. They do and have nutrition facts here too. But I don't it doesn't really stay together very well and it's just got this tiny little piece of tape. So again, I think we might reinforce this. Because otherwise they're cute. We'll reinforce them with a little glue. And they'll be fine. So those are ready. Uh, we have a little box of butter. Everyone needs butter. Everyone needs butter. We have a box of mac and cheese. I actually don't remember seeing this in any of the kitchen sets, the mac and cheese. So that one's cute. I really like that. I saw on American Girl Ideas how to make mac and cheese and the boxes, but uh, this one actually has it, so maybe I can skip that craft and <laughs> move straight on to the other food because we definitely need sandwiches. Um, here is your eggs. We don't get a carton with this one. This one, again, is just a box. And it's very, very flimsy. Um, so we may reinforce this one as well so we can get it to stay. We also have a box of Cheerios. Cheerios! Or Journey Girl O's. Cheerios. Those are cute. Um, Nutrition. Flimsy box. Again, we'll fix that. There's that. We also have a cookbook. This is so cute. I like the, the turkey on the front and the shrimp. This is nice and hard, so it does feel like an actual book. You got more pictures of food on the back. Um, you can see the pages here, but it does. it does not actually open. It looks like it was taped over or some kind of clear was put over it. Uh, we did try to take it off, but that doesn't come off. So it actually just looks like it has pages. So you can't open it, but it is a very, very sturdy book. So we have our little cookbook there. Okay, Moving on, we have flour and sugar canisters. I love the little stickers on these. The color, I love this aqua. It's so cute. The lids do come off of both, so that's nice. 
and put those on the spice rack pinky. Okay, and last we have our little, we have another container, I guess, to hold just silverware and utensils. So we have a little spatula, we have a serving spoon, and we have two knives, two forks, two spoons to eat from. So we have a nice little setting for two with plates, cups, coffee mugs, and silverware. So we'll just set that up there as well. And overall, oh, we already did those. Okay. Overall, we do really enjoy the set. It's, um, it's got good size. It's got wonderful colors. I do love the color scheme of this one a lot better. I like the amount of things it comes with. Um, a couple of the things, like I said, leave a little to be desired. Um, they're just flimsy and they're cardboard or paperboard, um, but those can be reinforced. Realistically, um, retail price for this was only $48. That is all we spent on this, and that is a fraction of the cost that you spend on most of the other kitchens that are currently on the market. So if you're looking for a kitchen and you want one with adorable items, um, and you want to spend a little less, I definitely think I would recommend this one. I do really like the Journey Girls items. I like the, um, the color schemes, um, and I think this is a really nice, a nice set. So if you guys um, enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe down below, and we will put a link to this kitchen in the description. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.